All right, let's continue. So we're going to make some tweaks with the Raptor over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some tweaks over here, especially with the pelvis. And I'm going to just bring it in a little bit. Just finding a good shape over here. There you go. A little bit push in. And what I'm looking over here, the knees goes in and there's a thigh. It comes a little bit, just goes in a little bit more. There we go. with the chest as well. Looks good. So let's come to the head and make some tweaks over here. What I'm going to do is add a little bit spike onto it. Just onto the eyes. Over here. Maybe four spikes like that, just for the design purpose. And then coming to my clay build up, just pushing in. There we go. Finding a good tweak over here. Maybe the jawline. And I think I will just go. It's all about artistic choice over here. And select this one and push it in a little bit. Just pulling this out, make sure it's selected. There we go. And now I go to the Damien standard and just again adding the nasal phobia. And just a little bit down. There we go. Adding a little bit cuts over here. And I think I go with the Simeon standard. It's just a bony landmarks over here. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. And I want a little bit flat in a way, so I can use the trim dynamic. Push it up like that. Maybe it's too down, I guess. Takes a little bit of time to do the practice. To get the flow, then you can just keep going on and on. Keep playing it until you find the result.
smoothing out. Maybe a little bit more rounded over here. Like that. A little bit smoothness. Oops. Make sure I'm in the clay buildup. Okay, this looks great. Great. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine with the jaw now. And the way I'm going to do is by going on to the merge and merge down. Now, before that, I will do, I want to make sure. It's in a different polygroup. So I'm going to hit Control W to make a single polygroup over here. And then I can hit select the body and go to the merge down, hit OK. And there we go. Now we are in the one mesh over here. And I can hit Shift F. Maybe I can Control and drag to make a read on mesh. Just cleaning up this area. A little bit trim dynamic just to cutting in a half. Just pull it a little bit down so it goes a straight I like that. Now you can see again we have some holes over here and we can fix this by the inflate brush. So let's do some inflate. And read on a mesh. Do the inflate and read on a mesh. It's going with the clay build up. Keep adding it. until we come into the right form. Let's go maybe a little bit down. There we go. Run a little bit straight over here. So I can go to the trim dynamic. So this is more like a flatten. There we go. Just a give. A little bit and that there is a bone again adding the bony landmark and flatten this out there we go it's two down Push it back. There we go. Right. Let's add the nails now. Uh, let's start working with the nails. And uh, I think I will pull the legs a little bit more inside. Now we can see there's a little bit issue with the legs, and that's completely fine we can go back and push it in just a little bit there we go finding the form over here 
little bit push in. Oh, not too much. Like that. Maybe just goes in the straight way so I don't want this out. Just a little. Make sure it's a perfect angular over here. And there we go. Like that. Adding my perspective. So I will be working with the head a lot because the head is the most important part. In any character, you want to focus on the head first because the head is the most dominated area. So you want to make sure it's coming out nicely. So head is going to be the really important part. So let's add the nails. Let's go to the append and add a sphere 3D over here. Let's select the sphere 3D and just push it above and scale it down. Maybe more a little bit. And let's go to the move tool and just push it outside like that. Now I want to make sure before I do, I want to make sure my symmetry is on. So I'm going to hit the X button and you can see a little bit dot over here on this corner. So we can see that the symmetry is on and then I can push it out like that. And what I'm going to do is go to the geometry and go to the data mesh and I will just keep the resolution way too low, 32 and hit the data mesh and you can see the resolution way too low and that's completely fine it's because we can control the geometry now be a little bit push in there you go Great, it looks good. Let's hit the W key and move it down and hit the X button to turn off the symmetry. And I'm gonna start with the the foot nails over here. I'm going to scale it down so it comes in the correct way, maybe just a little bit up and in the right place. Now it's hard to see what's going on over here. To make things a little bit simple, what I'm going to do is go to sub tool and select the body. Hold on control shift and if you click over here, you can come to the select lasso. Just select this and now we can make a selection as a lasso. And there we go. Rest part is gone. Now we can select the nail. Just to scale it a little bit in, just push it out like that. If I hold on control shift, I can make a duplicate of this nail and just rotate a little bit. There we go. And for the third nail, I'm just going to again hold on control shift and pull it out like that. and just place it over there a little bit small i can scale in the x-axis and just rotate it like that now i'm not worried about on the other side because we're going to make a symmetry over there but i do want to a little bit make a proper shape over there so i'm going to use my move tool just 
keep it in the right place like that if I hold down control and drag you can turn off the mask but if I want to move a little bit if I do the move right now you can see all of three nails are moving ahead so what I'm going to do is hold down control and drag and make a selection to make a mask over here and then hold down control and tap to invert the mask and then I can just a little bit move into the right place and then can just go to my move tool just push it back scale down my brush size and I think there's a little bit mask over there but that's completely fine I can remove the mask not worry about the mask anymore if you found this difficult to do this like and when you are moving you accidentally select the other nail as well as you don't want this effect so here's what you can do is if you go down and come to the poly groups and click on the auto grip now I want to show you if you hit the shift F you can see all the groups are the same but if you click on the auto grip those three nails will become independent poly groups over here so now we can go to the B for brush and come to the move topology this brush allows you to move only that poly group where you tap the first so for example if my brush size is big and if I tap over here then I can move this only this individual polygroup but if I was using the move tool and if I move it you can see the effect is happening over here as well so go to the move uh, go to the brush and go to the move topology and just individually you can make some changes over here great looking nice right great now what I can do is make a mirror on the other side so let's go to the geometry and if I go to the modified topology and mirror and well you can see now we have the on the both side Let's select the subtool and select the body and control shift and click to reveal the whole body. There we go. Now we can do the same over here for the hand snail. So I'm going to select the one uh, again the nails and I think I'm going to bring one nail out of it and then start making shape out of it so here's what we're going to do is I'm going to hold down control shift and click onto it so now we have this individual parts and what I'm going to do is if I hold down control shift and drag now before that I have to remove the uh, the hidden part so what I'm going to do is let me control shift click again and this time I'm going to click over here with my move tool and let's say if I click on the control shift click you can see that now this poly groups the both of them has been masked now so this works a little bit different if you are in the brush mode let me just remove them and I'm in the brush mode and if I hit control shift and click onto it so you can see I'm making a poly group selection or more like an isolation over here but if I'm in the move tool and then control shift click onto it these two polygroups become mask so that means now I can hold on control shift and drag it out I can make a copy of them so now what I'm going to do is I want to make them separate in a separate sub tool and if you go to the split and split mask there we go now there has been split and now we can move them individually and rotate them and place it on the right finger maybe I'm going to remove this uh, symmetry over here so I'm going to go to the geometry 
and if you go down to delete by symmetry and there we go it's been removed now this removed the x-axis the positive side and that's completely fine so what we can do is if you click over here it's going to snap on the center of the object and then I can move them place it on the right point over here make sure it's rotated and just a little bit scale and just push it inside a little bit down there we go a little bit of rotation great maybe a little bit more there we go So I'm going to hold on control shift and drag to make a duplicate of it. Scale it in. Place it on the right finger. So I'm just roughly placing it right now. Again, it's a blocking over here. So I'm going to hold on control shift and drag and place it over here. Just give a little bit of rotation, maybe a little bit scale down. There we go. And push it in the right place. There we go. Right. Now don't worry about the size, we can fix that later. But I'm going to remove the mask and go to my polygroups and make the auto group over there. There we go. Let's go to the geometry and click on the mirror vent. And there we go. They have been mirrored now. Great. So I will be keep tweaking as far as I can but yeah so we will continue in the next video and yeah